Hello, my name is Nick Johnson. I'm a quantum engineer at River Lane, based here in our UK office in Cambridge. Today I'm going to give you a short demonstration of our groundbreaking qubit control system, Delta Flow Control. Control systems sit at the very heart of quantum computers. Their job is to manipulate the quantum states of qubits, to store information and to perform calculations. What's special about Delta Flow Control is it's easy to use and integrate, meaning that physicists can focus more of their time conducting world-class experiments. Importantly, Delta Flow Control also provides the scalability and performance needed to control large numbers of qubits simultaneously. This will be crucial as we develop the next generation of fault-tolerant quantum computers. So, let's head over to our hardware lab now and take a look. I have our Delta Flow Control software running on my laptop here, which is connected to our FPGA hardware based on the market-leading Xilinx radio frequency system on a chip in the box here. I'm going to use Delta Flow Control to set up and debug an experiment on my laptop, and then I'll send the experiment to the hardware to generate analog and digital pulses for controlling the qubits. Since we don't have a quantum computer set up here in the office, we'll be visualizing the pulses on our oscilloscope. Here's an experiment I prepared earlier. This is a spin echo experiment that's commonly used to extend the coherence time of a qubit. Two things of note. First, with Delta Flow Control, experiments are coded using pure Python, which is a language that's already familiar to a lot of physicists and engineers, myself included. Second, throughout the code, I'm making extensive use of Delta Flow Control's software library. This makes it quick and easy to define the frequency, amplitude, timing, and duration of pulses with high accuracy. So, my code looks good, but before I connect to the hardware, I can use the built-in simulator to preview the outputs. Then, if I see that something needs tweaking or spot an error, I can easily make adjustments to my experiment before running it on the hardware. Importantly, Delta Flow Control Simulator is accurate down to the clock cycle of the FPGA, so the pulses and timing I see on my laptop screen are exactly what I'll get from the hardware. So I've run my experiment on the simulator, and here's the result on the screen. If I zoom in, I can confirm that all is good. I can see my initialization pulse and spin echo pulse are tightly synchronized, which is exactly what we want. Now I can see we're good to go. I simply change one line of code to run it on the hardware. And there's my waveform on the scope, looking just as expected. Something that we know is important for physicists is precise control over phase coherence. This is crucial for certain entanglement schemes and photon generation experiments. To show how Delta Flow Control delivers this, I prepared another experiment that specifies two phase synchronous control signals, but with a 40 nanosecond interval in one of them. Looking at the scope, we can see that the two signals generated by Delta Flow Control are precisely phase locked both before and after the interval. So that's it for this demonstration of Delta Flow Control, Riverlane's high performance control system for scalable quantum computing. This is a cornerstone of our mission to make quantum computing useful far sooner than previously imaginable. If you want to learn more, please visit our website at riverlane.com or connect with us on Twitter, LinkedIn or YouTube. Thanks for watching.